Well, the death toll has risen in the volcanic disaster in Tonga. At least two people in the island country have been killed following Saturday's enormous eruption and the tsunami that followed. There's much we still don't know about the full impact of the disaster as Tonga remains largely cut off from much of the world. Now, this was the scene on Friday after the first eruption before Saturday's more powerful blast. The agency Save the Children says the tsunami destroyed at least 50 homes in Tonga and damaged more than 100 others. Relief groups say the top priority is getting clean water and food to the people of Tonga over fears the volcanic ash likely contaminated supplies there. Royal Navy ships from New Zealand are expected to deploy in the coming hours with much needed humanitarian aid. Underwater communication lines remain severely disrupted and ash clouds have made it difficult to fully assess the impact of the disaster. Well, CNN meteorologist Tyler Malden joins me now live here in Atlanta. But let's start with our Blake Essig, who's live in Tokyo. Good to see you. So, Blake, what